Well, hello everybody, it's time to make time. Uh, if you've been following my Instagram page, it's time to make time. Uh, you've probably seen me with my uh, electric bike, otherwise known as my Nerdmobile, out and about uh, South Orange County area. And I want to kind of give everybody an update of what uh, some of the things I've done to modify it and uh, some of the adventures I got planned. Uh, again, the theme of the, the channel, it's time to make time. So some of the things I've been putting off, I haven't been fishing in quite some time. Obviously it's been winter time and the weather's warming up, but uh, I want to go fishing. So I got my poles restrung yesterday, got my fishing license and and uh, got the uh, the e-bike ready to go. So here's some of the stuff I've done to it. So the bike, when I got it, um, I got this from Doheny Bikes uh, in Dana Point. Um, kind of bought it, uh, it's a funny story how I bought it. I was having breakfast with my son at Harbor House and uh, he wanted me to go uh, check out um, these e-bikes on uh, in San Clemente. Uh, I won't name the name of the name of the company, but it rhymes with Erf or Derf. And uh, we walk out of the restaurant, and there's a guy there riding around on an e-bike. Not like this one, but it was like a, a smaller one. His name's Jason. He works at, uh, I think he's maybe one of the co-owners of Doheny Bikes. But I asked him about the bike that he was riding. He was telling me about it, and but it kind of had some limitations on the things that I wanted to do. So I ended up getting this one. Uh, I walked into a store just a few minutes later and uh, test drove this bike in a black and yellow configuration. I actually really liked it, but it's the only one they had in stock. But they had this one in stock. And uh, I got it. And uh, added a couple things to it since then. So what it came with, uh, the stock bike, uh, of course it comes with this, the light, uh, the big fat tires, I love that. I love the paint scheme on this, like a, I don't know, tactical purple. <laughs> It's like a grayish blue or whatever it is, but uh, it's a 750 watt. Uh, it's foldable, which is nice. It's nice because you can just do step throughs on this thing. And it folds here. It's got a bracket here where you can undo it, fold the bike here, and the uh, handlebars fold down as well. Uh, but it folds into a nice little square, fits in the car. Some of the things I added to it, um, my friend John. I uh, had this on his bike. Um, he has a different e-bike. His is in the shop because I think he chose poorly. Uh, he didn't go with Doheny bike like I did, but uh, he had this on his bike that he's not riding right now because, uh, did I mention it? His is in the shop? Oh, anyway. Um, got a side view mirror for it. It comes with a nice LED readout. And then this is uh, just a cell phone um, holder. So I have this, you know, for uh, I just listened to Pandora. I have the phone plugged into here. Of course, a nice cup holder. Um, this works, but once you crack it open, you hit any bumps, you get splashed on. Not that big of a deal. So bottled water is usually a bit better. And, uh, of course, I got my helmet for safety. But um, when I got this, it didn't have this rack or the, the fishing pole holder. So I got this, Lowe's, 8 bucks. This fishing rack, this dual rack uh, here. Kind of designed to go into um you know your drywall in your garage for storage or whatever but i just bought it and zip tied it to this um milk carton or milk crate 20 bucks amazon you know pretty pretty inexpensive got my poles restrung yesterday over at dana Moore sport fishing um got a couple other supplies but yeah and so i just when you're riding this around it it gets it gets jostled a little bit so i added the the bungee cord here just to keep the fishing poles from bouncing around too much and then you can see there's plenty of room in here I got my lock because unfortunately these e-bikes are a hot commodity on the stolen market um, so I got my e my lock towel I got my tackle box and I'm ready to go but uh, this lights up at night for night rides um, the headlight is uh, is plenty bright at night in fact if you point it up too much I and mean, you'll blind people with it and uh, yeah this thing is a is a blast so um, everything you see on the bike is stock except for the cup holder the side view mirror and then my cell phone and the fishing accoutrements but it comes with the rack underneath here 
the rack uh, came with it, obviously. Uh, another thing for, um, I guess really it's a plug for Doheny Bikes. Um, I, I, I like the product. I had a fun time riding it and I was sold instantly. But what really kind of uh, made me start re referring friends and family over there was uh, I took it in because I thought maybe the back brakes needed to have new pads put in. But uh, when I went to pick it up the other day, uh, they said, no, it just needed a brake adjustment. And uh, yeah, so I just, I like the integrity of that, you know. Some places, unfortunately, would say, oh, yeah, we replaced the, the pads and maybe upcharged me or whatever. But um, so far, Doheny Bikes, their customer service, their follow-up has been fantastic. So if you're in the market, you're going to wait. Uh, the, the market for e-bikes right now is, is red hot. And you're going to wait a little bit. I think my mother-in-law's got one on order. She doesn't get to pick it up till next month. And she bought it, I think, a month ago. So um, with the weather picking up, or getting better, I should say, the way it is. A little bit cloudy today. But the weather, the way it's been, um, this is going to be a great summer. And I, I love this thing. And uh, if you're into fishing, or if you're in just to getting out, having the breeze in your face, um, take the time to, to go have some fun and do something like this. Have an adventure. Hope you guys enjoy it. And if you're in the market, go see the boys and girls over at uh, Doheny Bikes in Dana Point. Thanks.